It just says that the that in the days of Peleg, the earth was divided. Now, some people have interpreted that to mean, well, maybe the continents were split apart, apart at that time. But I don't hold to that view because there's an association at that time with the Tower of Babel. It's in the same part of the, geolo- of the biblical record. And what happened at Babel was a division of people to... to to, as a judgment because they'd congregated together after the flood instead of scattering and, and, and repopulating the earth. And God says, well, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to scatter you. They were wanting to build a tower so that they could make a name for themselves and avoid being judged again as they were at the time of the flood. And so God came down and confused their languages. So I don't believe that's the case, that it was an earth division at that time. It was a division of peoples according to languages now we need to remember that if it was a division of the earth at that time what happens today when for example the earth's surface as as we know from observation can be divided up into plates crustal plates the earth's outer skin is called the crust and so we know for example that in california that uh, the pacific plate has a little bit of land on Southern California on it that moves relative to to North America and along the San Andreas Fault. And when it moves, we get an earthquake. We know that uh, when uh, the ocean floor is getting pushed under Chile, if it gets pushed down, it generates an earthquake. And sometimes you get rock melting as a result of being pushed down into the heat and heat and inside the earth and it melts the rock and you get a a volcanic eruption. We see that in the Andes. This this is well known. And so what happens if you're going to get movement of, say, 50 feet on a fault line off the coast of Japan? It happened in 2011. Was it 2012? About that time, we had an earthquake that that devastated with a tsunami all, all the coast of Japan. And so... If the earth was divided and the continents broke apart at the time of Peleg, we're talking about breaking apart thousands of miles. That's going to generate humongous earthquakes. They're going to devastate everything on the earth's surface. It just doesn't work. What does work is what happened when originally in 1859, which was a bad year for someone else to be trying to promote another idea because someone else had sent a stage, but I was actually an American geologist who had to go to France to get his work published, Antonio Sneller, uh, Snyder Pellegrini. He read in the Genesis chapter 1 that when God made the dry land, he gathered the waters together in one place and called them seas. And he inferred that, well, the land may all have been in one place. There may have been a supercontinent before the flood, which makes sense in, a sen- in that it would be easy for all the animals to get to, to Noah on the ark They didn't have to hop from Australia trying to find a way over water if Australia and all the other continents were pushed back together again, which you can see. He saw the jigsaw puzzle fit, uh, fitting Europe and North America and South America and Africa back back together and closing up the Atlantic Ocean. So he was the first one who actually really promoted this idea that there'd been a supercontinent and that the Earth broke apart into the present continents. But he believed in continental sprint, not continental drift. And the interesting thing was that it was only in the early 1900s that some Germans and uh, South Africans took up this idea and proposed continental drift. And it was was poo-pooed as a a bad idea by geophysicists and geologists for 50 years until after the Second World War, some of the uh, maps that had been generated because of the submarine warfare to chart the, uh, the, the mountains on the ocean floor, they suddenly saw the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. They'd done testing of the Earth's magnetic field, and they, the idea was proposed that the the, the Earth, had, like this, the Atlantic Ocean, had formed as a result of North America and, and Europe being split apart, and opening up. And the time when this would happen is back where Antonio Snyder Pellegrini said it would. And so uh, we have proposed this model. A few of us have proposed, creation scientists have proposed this model that. There was one continent before the flood and that earth division to produce the continents that we have now occurred catastrophically during the flood. We call it catastrophic plate tectonics. 
that the fountains of the great deep represented the splitting open of the earth's crust. Water came out, volcanic rock came out, pushed away, pushed, pushed things and moved them around. The, the old ocean floor, pre-flood ocean floor being cold and dense actually sank into the, into the, earth, into the earth's interior and generated new ocean floor and it created tsunamis that created waves that washed up onto the ocean floor. New ocean floor was warmer so it, it, was, it rose because it was more buoyant. So it pushed sea level up higher, which enabled the waters to flood the continents and generate the flood. So rather than putting earth division during the days of Peleg, we see that as a, represent, as a referral to the people being divided to spread across the earth and being divided into their cultures and language groups. Whereas the physical division into the different continents had occurred during the flood. Now it's interesting, the power of an idea or a model is tested by its ability to make predictions. And when this idea we put forward was proposed, uh, one of the main men who was involved, a geophysicist uh, named Dr. John Baumgarten, who actually did his PhD at uh, UCLA, deliberately modeling what was going on during the Earth in the context of Noah's flood. And he made the prediction that if the cold, dense, pre-flood ocean floor sank down inside the earth, it would eventually have gone all the way down through the mantle, which is the division under the crust, to the boundary with the core. And because that had only occurred rapidly, four and a half thousand years ago, there would not have been enough time for that colder material to melt and to homogenize with the mantle rock underneath, ar around it. And therefore, we should expect to find evidence that those cold slabs still existed at the base of the Earth's mantle. In 1994, the secular scientists published the evidence. They'd found it with earthquake seismic imaging inside the Earth. Now, earthquake waves are just like ultrasound, and you can build a 3D image inside the Earth using the, the, the sound waves from earthquakes. And they actually found that, that. So his prediction was shown up to be correct. So that, that enhances the power of that model when it, when it makes a prediction and, and it's fulfilled. So sadly, we disagree with those who say Peleg was a you know, continental breakup. We sympathize with what they're trying to do. But in the context, we see that as referring to the Babel judgment, whereas the breakup of the continents, we believe, occurred during the flood. I think it fits better there because the, the, the tremendous upheaval would have been part of the judgment that God used to wipe out animals and, and people that had sinned prior to the flood.